What's up everybody? Blue Gabe. This is a gator hunting video and you're about to go gator hunting with me. But first I had to take a second to explain what happened yesterday. So I uploaded a video just like what you're about to watch yesterday and it was kicking butt. It had 40,000 views and then YouTube demonetized it. Why? I have no idea. I didn't show any blood. I didn't show anything that was too graphic, but it happened. And when that happens, they shut the video off. They just pull the trigger on it and it doesn't get any more views. It got 40,000 views in three hours and then psh, done, finished. So I made that video go private. I took it down, re-edited it, took whatever that could possibly be in it that was bad out and I added a whole bunch more really good footage to the video. The same thing just happened to my brother deer meat for dinner with his sandbar deer video. He didn't have any blood, didn't show anything gory, didn't even show cleaning the animal and it happened. And why it happens, we have no idea. But we make our income, we pay our bills being monetized on YouTube. This is the only thing I do to make money. So it's very, very important that this doesn't happen. Unfortunately for this time, we don't know why it happened. So I did it again. I re-edited the video. You guys, I hope you enjoy it. Now, for those of you all that haven't watched yesterday's video, which isn't there anymore, you're about to see it again in a different twist. So now let's take it to the boat ramp. Let me introduce who's going gator hunting with me. And y'all, let's go slay some giants. For all of y'all that bass fish, I don't need to introduce this dude, but for those of y'all that don't, Shaw Grigsby. I got my son, Jake. I got... Grandson, Bryce. And son, Shaw. Little Shaw. Little yep. Shaw, professional bass fisherman. How long you been bass fishing? Whoo, 35 years. Since I was How knee high... <laughs> I'm 40. Since I was knee high to a grasshopper every Saturday morning, I watched this man right here bass fish on ESPN. And then growing up, I've seen him just evolve into now major league fishing which is the cat's meow to bass fishing got the world's best camera girl turn around real quick and let him get a peek <laughs> so we're going gator hunting you see you can see a little you can see a little tease of what we got in this boat all i can tell you is he's big and we're going to take you all along right now we're actually headed to the processor and i'll see you all there in a bit but first what do you say we show him how to catch this big old gator dude let's do it let's do it we'll be back in a minute All right, guys, so we just set out on a big, big gator. I saw him when he come around a bend. Nobody else noticed him. Nope. We're just going to see if he comes up, and hopefully if he does, he's in range. That's why you're the man. So how fast are you going when you drop that thing, man? That's About cooking. 23 miles an hour we, <laughs> <laughs> we were going. That was, like, that was like biting a tuna or something right there. Mr. Shaw, when I said get the rod, he likes to hook alligators, so he thought we meant get the hook rod. I said, oh, no. The bait. Get the bait ride. We're actually a lot closer to the gator than I want to be, but this time in the morning he's hungry. He, I don't need to get too far away from him. Oh yeah, you're behind. Him. Yeah, he turned. Holy, <laughs> he's going to it. Oh my gosh. Here he comes. He's going straight to the bait. He is. <laughs> awesome. That's incredible. I can say I've hunted with the best alligator hunter in the world. 10 feet, 5 feet, 3 feet, 1 foot, and he did. He's got it in his mouth. It's, I don't see the bait. It's in his mouth. He's going to swim back over the bank to eat it. Wow. That's ridiculous. That's so all just hey. my jaws. Doom, 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 doom. Yeah. There it is. If I can see him, I can catch him every time. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> you are the man. There he goes. He 
went down a little bit, but he's he just went up in that cut to sit there and eat yeah. it. Now, do we know if he's big enough? No. I do. But he's, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> so, you know, I, you're just like you've seen tons of gators. I've seen quite a few, especially out fishing. That's a good one. Yeah, I mean, that's a good, a good one. one. I mean, he's, I'm, he's definitely over 10, and that's really kind of your, yeah. your mark is you want to be over 10. So we just had a hurricane go by. <laughs> It was in the Gulf and it's created a lot of wind and Okeechobee's round so it creates a toilet bowl when the wind's blowing really hard. And right now the current's going that away. He didn't want to sit in that current and eat the bait. He wanted to get up in that little cut. So typically I know when they eat it. This one, I don't know. So we'll just give him 10 minutes, not very much longer. Then we just ease down ease to him. Ease up to him. I can typically feel what, him shake his head the right way and I know if he's ate it or not. Wow. Another thing is if you bother him a little bit, he'll swing back out in the open. Typically a big gator will always go to deep water to fight. Yeah. Yeah. Like you see floating tussets and you're like, oh no, he's gonna swim under there. A big gator wants to be out in the open. Now Robert lost one last year that was ginormous under a tusset but that looks like another little one right there yep that ain't a little one either <laughs> they're like lined up everywhere so here in south florida florida is nothing but a big reef from millions of years ago in this canal they dug it out with big drag lines and on both sides there's rock shelves we hit one earlier You might be able to pick your line up. Or no, it's not around the pole. All right. Down here. Uh oh, it's hung here. Hang on. There we go. Got on a rock. Let me put this trolling motor and we'll get around these couple of snags. There it is. Just pop go. loose. I don't know. I mean, you could probably put a little bit of heat on it. I'm going to have to get wet this morning. <laughs> He's the only man going in the water with a 11 footer right here and he's gonna go in the water and get it off a rock. Because this whole thing is nothing but lime rock. Big, big lime rock. Okay, what are we doing? <laughs> can't get lose him, I know that. <laughs> this is awesome. I ain't scared of no gator. Hang on, I can't. <laughs> about losing that for sure. <laughs> Well, he's on the bottom. Oh, that's bad rock. <laughs> Sun, sunglasses and all. <laughs> and the feet sticking up. <laughs> no, now. <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> I feel like he did it so effortlessly, too. I know. He just goes down there, digs it It was down. on a bad rock. Yeah. Like a fist sized rock like that it wasn't coming off <laughs> so here's the hard part he's laying on the bottom in 20 foot of water and we got to try to get to where we can show shawl right where he's at and he can drag that hook over him yeah I got it. Now comes the time I can get back there and drag the boat. Little Shaw, your butt up here. He's about to come up. Watch him. Watch him. He's going to jump. <laughs> Ooh, that's a pretty good one. He's 10 foot. But we got the big rod, the little rod. And now we just get on him. We get close, send a harpoon in him, and we got him. Bump yeah. in reverse, Jake. We're not 100% sure if we want to keep him yet or not. So I'm going to pull him up here and I want to really look at him. And I wouldn't recommend getting this close to one's mouth. But at the same time, this ain't my first rodeo. Uh oh, I'm wrapped. He's right at 10 foot. I think with the time that we have, we still have two more hours to hunt. I, I think we can at least catch another one this size. So I vote we turn him loose. Okay. I mean, it's the beginning of season. If, if we don't kill one today, 
we got we have another six weeks to hunt him so yeah, till november 1st november 1st so they're happy i'm happy but i want my bait back <laughs> i wonder how are you going to do that i'm going to show you he should be getting tired right here. got our job done. <laughs> That's cheating! What about my hook? <laughs> Every man for himself now. Oh! Oh, did I grab that dude? Are you kidding me? Got it out. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you, you are the, you are the I got both of them back stud out. of all studs. That's ridiculous. All right, let's go kill a big one, a big <laughs> old big one. So I this one is that. 10 feet, massive, big tail, big head. Not good enough. No. Not good enough. <laughs> This is y'all's show. I'm just living it. <laughs> it's your show. No, it's you guys. <laughs> and I'm I enjoying a, being with you. <laughs> I've waited a long time to this get this is, opportunity. This is like, uh, I'm saying the same thing, man. Do, anytime you can hunt with somebody or fish with somebody that's like really good at what they do, it's awesome. Learn so much. So this can is, we talk about that bass fishing trip now? Yeah, we can do that. <laughs> he's not, he's just laying there. Yeah, he you don't even that. know the world. That's the awesome thing about bait fishing is like hand this to somebody. you can do it and the gator don't even yep. know he's in trouble until you yeah, got your stuff it. in order. Ready? Oh boy, he's coming on his boat. I couldn't do anything just yet. Hold on. Bryce, we're both under. Don't pull it up yet. Alright. Hang on. Bryce, you can go to free school right there. Alright, I'm, I'm at free spool too, so. All right, there's one free. Alright. That's what boy is he feeling now. That almost got ugly right there. It did. You see how we just took our time, calmed down, got it out from around the trolling motor. You never know which way they're gonna shoot. And of course he always shoots underneath the trolling motor, which made that a pain in the butt. Look at him, look at him bubbling. So we want to kill this one? The boss just said we're going to harvest this one. He's going to taste really good. All right. That Florida trophy gators is like the best processor in the world, man. Oh, I feel every bit of this. this is, oh, yeah. You've this got is, a lot heavy line is, on that reel. I put a 130 pound Seaguar uh, thread lock on here. All right, let's get him one more time. I on. put it on for you. It's blue. I love me some blue. All right, you horse him with this rod. Yeah, you horse him with that one because I still got him with this one. Now listen, he can rip you out of the boat with that rod. He's super strong. Jake, bump the boat and gear to the right. Neutral. I got Jake, my 10-year-old back there, captain in a boat. A lot of people say, oh, I want to come kill an alligator. I want to, I want to do it. I want. It's such a team effort that it is. It, everybody, Kelly's back there filming. I'm filming. Bryce is doing bump in reverse. Bryce is doing the grunt work. I'm backing up. Ready? Nope. He takes off again. What I was trying to say is everybody's got a job on this boat. So if you want to do an alligator hunt, check out G3 Outfitters. I'll have all of his information in the link below. Three or four of you can come and everybody's doing something. Click it right. Click it right, Jake. Come back here, Shaw. Shaw, go around us really quick. He's going to his bait's going to pop out of his mouth. Quick. All right, here we go. Hang on. Three. Right here. Like that. Woo! Got him. Dude. Shout out to Kelly doing acrobats around the boat. <laughs> Shout out to me. Ain't no doubt she's the best Did camera it. girl there is.
Time to get the Gator Pro 44 mag and bust a knot right on the top of his head. Do you all hear that? That was that country slang we've been teaching you. Oh yeah. No, let him go down. Hold on, let's get his head off. He's bigger than that last game. Yeah. Well, you can get him right now, boys. You see the spot? Okay. Of course. Go closer. That's it. Like that. Dude. Just about like that. Just about like that. <laughs> 44 mag just said lights out. Don't play. Hey, what y'all think about your first gator hunt with me? Incredible. It's awesome. <laughs> it's like the, yeah. best, the best ever. Now I'm over here acting like smooth, calm. Most That's of like crazy. Brad and the boys that hunt with me all the time, they're like, why is he acting so calm right now that Mr. Shaw's in the boat? <laughs> Normally there's a little bit more yelling going on. What? Three, two, three. Okay. Y'all right. come on this side of me. In the boat. There we go. He's ours now. Ready? Hold on. There you go. All right. And. Bumping 11 foot. All right. That's it. Let's go to the dock and eat breakfast. Team Blue Gave. In the house. Dude. This is one of the coolest parts about Florida Trophy Gators. You can pull in here, get really cool hanging pictures of the alligator hanging up. This is where they process them. They got walk-in coolers. As soon as you bring an alligator here, take pictures, put him right in there in the cooler, and he's cool really fast. They, so they do mounts, full body mounts, any way you want head mounts. Plus, it's the best processor for the meat I've ever seen anywhere. Great place right here. He's a lot right bigger here. than we thought he was. I told you he's a big one. Big old big in. A big old pig. I grew up here at Mr. Shaw when he'd hook one of them big old large mouth bass, he'd say a big old pig. Big old pig. He'll go 11-3 probably. 11-2, 11-3. Maybe more. And we turn one loose this size. Dead on 11. Actually, I was off. Right okay, 11-1. Y'all get judged him exact. 11-1. That makes... Number five for the year. I killed a 12 1, 11 4, 11 1, and two big 10s, and we've turned a couple big ones loose. All right, so we left over there where the coolers are. That's where you drop your alligator off. But if you're getting it mounted or processed, when you're done, you got to come over here to the main headquarters, walk inside, and I'm going to show you guys what's in here. There's all kinds of cool mounts, and this is where the girls are that will take all your information. I need you two on your best behavior because we're about to be filming. I don't want Camera's to. in y'all's face. Yeah. I mean, no, all right, so as y'all can see, when you come Are in, you? Mr. Shaw has his paperwork. This has all the alligators' information. So once they log it into the system, they'll ask you how you want your meat. Do you want it cubed? Do you want it one pound, three pound bags? And then this is where you can do all your taxidermy shopping. You can get keychains. And like my favorite thing, and I think this would probably be Kelly's favorite, is a back scratcher because she loves her back scratch. <laughs> Oh, here, Jake, look, look. Let me try. Does that feel good? Not what about this? <laughs> oh, no. One of my favorite things that Florida Trophy Hunters, the taxidermist side, do are these little coffee tables. I think they're so unique, especially if you're wanting to like brighten up, you know, a man cave or the middle of your living room. These things are dope. All right, you guys, you've seen the whole process. You saw us put the boat in the water, go out, put the baits out, catch the gators, turn a huge one loose, and then, then kill a big old big one. But right now, me and Mr. Shaw are parting ways. Kelly and I gotta get back. Kelly's going to the Keys for a week for her birthday. Jake and I are gonna come home. I got a pound of gator meat. Are we gonna go fish? Yeah, we're gonna fish. So Mr. Shaw got his gator processed, and I didn't wanna mess with any of that meat because it won't be ready for a day or so. I went to the girls, they gave me a one pound back, so we're headed to the house, and I'm gonna cook alligator for you guys. If you want to see an alligator skinning video, I just put one up a couple weeks ago. And my brother Deer Meat for Dinner obviously has four or five really, really good ones for big alligators. But y'all, dude, it, this has been a long a time coming. As you can imagine, going with somebody that really knows their stuff 
is it's just amazing because you learn so much so you. thank you for the day i never even considered that while we were fishing all i could think about was i have mr Sh and i'm not a starstruck <laughs> person at all i mean ever but i knew i, I met you in keenansville about three years ago Long time, yeah. i said i'm a gator hunting with that dude one of these days y'all just watched it go down but be prepared because in november when he's back down here for the bass tournaments we're gonna go jigging some crappie there you go so i will see y'all back in stewart florida at my house let's go hey thank Thanks, you very buddy. much that was awesome little shaw y'all see this this is one pound of processed alligator meat from florida trophy alligators where we took mr shaw's big huge alligator i hope y'all are enjoying this i was going to cook at the house kelly called me her and her friend are up here cooking out making their own video so me and the boys busted up in here and said let's cook with y'all I got my grill billy y'all haven't seen this in like i don't know two or three months because i sold them all out in one video but they're back in stock they've got about 80 units best grill i've ever used honestly <laughs> like literally she just got done making chicken kebabs look at this and they're so good it's insane and the best part about it it's propane so you don't have to drag a bunch of charcoal and all that stuff with you so i'm going to get this gator meat put a little bit of olive oil on it a little bit of dano's spicy we're gonna get the grill in. All right, so I took it out of the bag, dried it off, and it comes cubed. That didn't look like a pound of meat before, but now it does. That's literally a meal for four right there. I'm gonna take a little bit of olive oil, about that much, just smush it around. And like Dano himself would say, we're gonna pull that trigger finger. You can use a ton of this because it's so low in sodium. Now let's put it on the grill. The other cool thing about this grill is it cools down so fast. You use charcoal and you gotta sit there forever to wait for it to cool off. This, you don't. Perfect. About four minutes is all it's gonna take. I want one of these kebabs though. Let me taste one of Kelly's kebabs. Oh, that's good. Mmm. 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 That is really, really good. But I like to take a little bit of extra Danos. He does a recipe with this where he mixes it with Parmesan cheese and puts it on corn. Oh my gosh. Ooh, I have corn. For real? I have corn, but I don't have Parmesan cheese. Dang it. Look at Luke. What are you doing? What are you doing? This is Luke's world. We're really just living in it. <laughs> Alright, that's a wrap. Now this is just as about a plain of gator meat as you can get. Olive oil and Danos. But that's enough because there's so many herbs in Danos. And take a little bit of lemon. Just because Kelly did it with her kebab, so I figured I might as well just, you know, follow the leader on that one. Quit arguing over there, kids. <laughs> Let it cool down and we're gonna taste it, but I can tell y'all it's gonna be good. But but can you smell it? Can you smell it, Kelly? <laughs> Smells like alligator. What y'all think? Let's see what it tastes like though. Alright. Uh-oh. Mm -mm. I mean it is a little bit, but this could be a really big gator that so the fact that it is edible it's really good. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've never, well, the only time I've ever eaten gator was like fried bites. It's good. You could look a little bit more enthused. I have to, I have to let the flavor sit in. Hold up. Tell everybody about the javelina though. Everybody thinks the javelina was horrible. The javelina was good. Like, it literally. tasted like a regular pot roast that you would make any other day of the week. But I got a piece out of my tooth. Let me see. <laughs> So back to the javelina video. I think it was because Kelly and I were just tired. We had been going for four days straight. That javelina is some of the best food I've ever cooked in my life, period, let alone being good javelina. And the gator meat's good. It's just a little chewy, but... But that's gator meat. Yeah, it's definitely edible. Chewy. It's a. It doesn't even have, like, a distinctive taste. It's just a good, like, meat with some seasoning on it. You heard her. Hey, thanks for watching. We got so many more cool videos to go. Her and I are gonna go do a, a trip over to the Bahamas in this really cool video. I'm not gonna give too much details to. She's headed to the Keys for a week. I'm headed who knows where for a week. But y'all will be riding along. 
Like Jake always says though, it's time to get up out of here and get the heck out of shape. See y'all.